you for the introduction. It's a great pleasure to speak with you this evening. I'd like to start with a few questions. What is your personal genius? What do you do well? What is your passion? Now, what if you had a significant disability? What kind of support do you need? What kind of job can you perform? How many hours a week can you work? Who do you know and what do they do? What is your dream job? These are questions we ask every day when we help individuals with disabilities find employment. They are all great questions, but help us answer the first, most important question, what is your personal genius? My love for basketball started in middle school and took me to Muhlenberg College, allowing me to graduate as the only first team All-American in school history. Later, I played professional basketball in Austria. When I returned home to start a family, I thought I would just find a job and be happy. I never really thought about a career, I never thought about discovering my own personal genius. I stayed involved with basketball as an assistant coach at Muhlenberg College, Central Catholic, and Northampton High Schools, and worked a variety of jobs. I worked at a beer distributor, a rental car company, and got my hands dirty with a local landscape company, but I never really found my niche. It wasn't until I started substitute teaching at Northampton Middle School that I began to discover my personal genius. The administrators at Northampton were actually the ones who started me on that journey. It seems I was always placed in special education, emotional support, and alternative opportunity programs. Maybe it was my intimidating size the administrators thought might be effective, but maybe it was more. Maybe it was my ability to connect with these kids, to look past their disabilities and become a positive influence in their lives. There's a great quote, if you love what you do, you never have to work a day in your life. I found what I love to do, and it led me to my pursuit of my master's degree in special education. As an employment specialist with VIA, it is my job to assess the job skills of individuals with disabilities like autism, Down syndrome, physical disabilities, and mental health issues. It is also my job to search for places of employment in their communities. In this business, it's relatively easy to evaluate someone's job skills based on what they can't do. At VIA, we take a unique approach. A quote by the great college basketball coach John Wooden sums up our philosophy best. Don't let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. This philosophy allows us to think outside the box, using techniques beyond the simple completion of a job application and hoping for an interview. Through the discovery of one's own personal genius, we are able to customize employment opportunities. We use strategies like job carving, self-employment, a business within a business, and working with employers to adjust job descriptions to fit the needs of our workers. This allows people to truly use their personal genius at a job they love. VIA believes everyone is employable and should have the opportunity to contribute in the workforce. VIA provides job coaching. Everyone here should be familiar with the, with the roles of a coach, okay, someone who teaches and trains an athlete to perform. Well, we do the same exact thing. We train, we train people on their job duties, provide financial and transportation guidance, and help them develop natural supports on the job. Most importantly, we coach business owners, supervisors, and coworkers on how to support their new employee through relationship building, training, trust, and the discovery of one's personal genius. In the past five years, VIA has helped more than 200 people find jobs in places like Home Depot, Giant Food Stores, Wegmans, the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs, the Federal Courthouse, Lehigh Valley International Airport, the Army Federal Reserve, Cigars International, and right here at the Sands Casino Resort. And we're always looking to add more, so anyone who's interested in more information, please don't hesitate to contact me. While all job placements are a success, placements in smaller businesses are often empowering and foster a great sense of community togetherness. Andy Weaver from Nazareth is a great example of how one individual can make a huge impact on a community. If you've ever been to a Nazareth High School basketball game, you probably know Andy. The Weave is an inspiration because of his drive, fight, and canny ability to bring the best out of others. Andy was the first student in a wheelchair to attend Nazareth High School and truly set the bar high by becoming a role model to others with limitations. I loosely say limitations because anyone who knows Andy knows that he is a prime example of Coach Wooden's quote, don't let what you can't do interfere with what you can do. Because, Andy, with, because with Andy, there is much more that he can do than he can't. At Nazareth, Andy helped with fire drills, 
and was a member of the school newspaper and yearbook staffs. He graduated from the Hiram G. Andrews Center in Johnstown, where he took classes in accounting and general clerical preparation. Upon returning home, Andy got a job at the Nazareth Center for the Arts, where he collected tickets and helped develop their Facebook and Twitter pages. In addition, Andy manages Facebook pa pages for the Nazareth cheerleaders, fire department, football, basketball, and field hockey teams. Last June, VIA helped Andy get a job at Environmental Waste Minimization Incorporated in Northampton, where Andy uses his personal genius by providing office support. He files invoices, organizes paperwork, and inputs sales data into QuickBooks. If you know Andy, you know he's a people's person. He told me his number one goal in the Nazareth community and at EWMI is to make people smile. While a smile can be tough to come by sometimes, Andy's personal genius goes well beyond the ability to make you smile. It's an inspirational wake-up call to anyone who says they can't, because Andy is capable of anything. Two years ago, Via received a request from a local high school to meet with Clint Heisler. He was about to graduate. Clint is a natural salesman, has good computer skills, and a very outgoing personality. We asked Clint to do some research on becoming a notary public, a job we all agreed might be a good match. When we met two weeks later, not only had Clint and his mother done the research, but they also completed most of the certification paperwork to become a notary. When Clint graduated from high school a few months later, more than 300 people attended his graduation party. When Clint sent out thank you cards, he asked those same people if they may be interested in using his soon-to-be-developed notary services. Two weeks later, over 250 people responded with a yes. Clint's business has grown steadily over the past 18 months. Clint has added complimentary services like car title transfers, copying, faxing, and providing eBay sales services. Clint's personal genius comes in the form of savvy salesmanship, dynamic computer skills, and an ability to network within his community. Crystal Strauss is a hardworking, independent young woman who is the main caregiver for her father and grandmother. Crystal runs her household, takes, his father, takes her father and grandmother to doctor's appointments, and cares for them when they're sick. Crystal has worked in child care for several years. Last year, VIA opened an early education center in Lower Mukunji called Lehigh Children's Academy. For Crystal, the timing was perfect. Crystal interviewed for an assistant teacher position and blew away the director of the academy. Her ability to advocate for herself and her passion and desire to work with children was extremely impressive. Crystal discovered her personal genius many years ago, her love of working with children. Crystal is a great example of how you can learn, grow, and succeed in today's workforce. She is a model of hard work and dedication, an inspiration to the people she works with and the children she teaches. She exceeds expectations and truly is what hard work and passion are when it comes to her job. <coughs> Looking back now, Matt Sinak's personal genius should have been so clear. Matt worked with VIA for nearly three years without finding a job. During that time, Matt earned his degree in fine arts from Northampton Community College. Matt was able to get interviews at places like Taco Bell, Kmart, and some other local retail outlets but it wasn't until we started digging deeper that we truly began discovering who Matt was. Matt, or DJ Dog Train, as he is known, and his dad, DJ Cosmo D of Nucleus, co-anchor Jam on the Groove, a weekly internet radio show on Global Funk Radio. It airs on Saturdays from the basement of his home. His basement is full of vinyl records, and he and his family travel the world spinning records and performing gigs. Matt's personal genius became glaringly obvious, so we started looking for jobs in the radio business. Last September, Matt and I stopped by a new vinyl record store in Easton called Used Grooves. That is when I first met DJ Dog Train. He didn't have a job yet, but Used Grooves invited Matt to perform at the store during their grand opening celebration. This is a taste of what we saw.
As you can imagine, everyone was floored. The owner of the store pulled me into his office and said, we need to hire Matt, he's amazing. Today, Matt works at Use Grooves as a record processor. He processes records by verifying their covers and inserts, grading the record quality, pricing records based on industry standards, and stocking them on the floor. On the weekends, DJ Dog Train makes his regular Saturday appearance at Use Grooves and has started promoting himself as one of the best DJs in the Lehigh Valley. I'd like to congratulate all the athletes here tonight for their accomplishments, hard work on the basketball court, and dedication in a classroom. As you embark in the next phase of your life, I challenge you to discover your personal genius and use the stories of Andy, Clint, Crystal, and Matt to help you discover who you are as a student athlete, but more importantly, a person. Stay hungry, stay driven, love your families, and never quit, even when things get tough. Walls are put up all the time in life. Walls aren't necessarily put up to keep people out, they're put up to keep out those who don't want it bad enough. Andy, Clint, Crystal, and Matt have walls put up in front of them every single day, yet they choose to find a way around that wall, over that wall, or straight through it. I thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of your evening.